All right, uh, Brian Michael again with Real Film Snobs here at Northwest Comic Fest, and I'm here with another filmmaker. This is Austin. Austin, you made Yeti Assassin. Correct. Which is my favorite title of the Film Fest. Thank you very much. And so my first question, as for most, as is for most everyone, is where did the idea come from? Well, actually, to be honest, it wasn't my idea originally. Oh. It was uh, a friend of mine. His name is Richard Reed, and yeah. uh, he wrote the script, and he actually asked me to film it, and he didn't. Pursue, he didn't go through with the filmmaking process and so I decided like I just told myself it has to be filmed and uh, yeah I, I filmed it you filmed yeah. it now with the, with comedy that's that's gonna be really tough especially with the editing and trying to get the feeling and everything right there so and have you done films before yeah I've so done uh, commercial well? films uh, documentaries short okay. films as well and so I mean I was fairly used to you know the onset feeling and uh, yeah, yeah it that, comes yeah. across because yeah, see, with the with comedy, like I said, the timing is is just about everything. Oh it's, yeah, it's, that can it's be cool. really really tough. Yeah. And so, who is the Yeti? That's my first question. Uh, oh, his well, name that's is what I uh, his name is uh, Andrew Korleski. Yeah. And the the way he was cast was actually he came to me and said like, hey, what? Uh, can you just tell me about this film? And <laughs> I just actually started thinking. I was like, hey, you actually kind of look. <laughs> sort of like a Yeti already. I think you would be a great Yeti. Are, are you down? He said, absolutely. What every actor wants to hear. Oh, absolutely. And <laughs> at first he was offended and he uh, took it out on me, but I was like, I mean, yeah. think about it. Think about how funny that would be. And then he was on board. So, so now what it does in the film, uh, you know, it plays on a lot of tropes. You know, the you know, Karate Kid or, or the different ones where there's a mentor and a, men a mentee, I think is what you want to call mm -hmm. it. You know, and so there's training. And so how many of those had you... You know, did you watch any especially to try to, you know, build on that? Yeah, actually, uh, the tone notes for the whole piece was uh, the Karate Kid, yeah. um, the Naked Gun, and <laughs> uh, I want to say the Dark, the Dark Knight. Yeah. I, I can't remember really, but uh, we just. The Batman, Batman Begins. May, maybe That's where he's learned. Maybe it might have been there? the Dark Knight or Inception or something. But there you go. We're like we want it to look like Inception, but. That we want the comedic timing to be as ridiculous as the Naked Gun, and then we want it to have the same sort of stylistic feel as the Karate Kid and uh, Kung Fu Panda. Excellent. And so, excellent. Now, see the, the viewers out there that with our show, um, they're film snobs, and so they've seen all of those movies. And uh, putting them together, it actually can, it does work. It works really well, and so you have to check out this film. Now, is there a way that the film, uh, anyone else, you know, can find the film? I will be posting the film online, hopefully within this next month. Okay, where will uh, that if be? If not sooner, uh, I would say uh, by September first, it will be online. Online where? On Vimeo. Then and you can check it out at bakerbrosmedia.com Baker Bros. and we'll have updates and uh, you can also check out some of our other films that we make on, on our website as well. I, I must say I'm a little disappointed that Yeti isn't here because I, I know, was really I know. looking forward to it. that. I know. Been... It's uh, crazy because we sold the mask <laughs> to uh, the, a local theme park named Enchained Forest. They bought it. And oh really? Yeah, they want and so. Oh it's, dear. Now uh, they're trying to put in their ice mountain bobsleds. Yeah, line. yeah, yeah. That's gonna be scary. Yeah, no. I yeah. hope. I it's hope like it the works Matterhorn on, on Disneyland. The I know. It's, it's kind of a funny time. experience how it happened. I was just like, oh yeah. Like if <laughs> if it works better for you guys, I won't be using it. So. That's nice. Yeah, absolutely. So what's next for you? So what's next for us is uh, my brother and I are working in a company called Baker Bros Media. Mm -hmm. We uh, are doing commercials for local businesses. And we're trying to uh, move back up to Portland and start doing more fiction films and, oh, yeah. and such. And we're working on a few scripts right now, which uh, I can't say at the moment, but you will hear about them very shortly. Is, is Marvel in the name or something like that? Or uh, it, not uh, Marvel, Avengers but, or something like that? you know, maybe another uh, comic book series. Oh, wow, I kind of hit it on the nose yeah, a, little a little bit. bit a little bit, yeah. Oh, I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I would have gotten the idea. <laughs> anyway, so now, have you been around the comic uh, the oh, Comic Con and seen everybody? Yeah, no, I'm very surprised with the turnout. Uh, a lot of activities. I've oh, yeah. never been bored. I went and saw the roast of uh, the Red Power Ranger last night at Capital City. Oh my god, that sounds yeah. awesome. No, I was thoroughly <laughs> impressed. It was I never a dull moment. Excellent. Well, thanks so much hey, for coming thanks out. Thanks for having me. Yeah, excellent.